I'm Emily. I grew up in a sort of middle class family. I went to probably the most famous and highly appraised private school of Athens. So somewhere where there was abundance of resources, lots of kids, um, lots of resources in the kids' families. But I wasn't very happy. And I, I have that as such a vivid feeling and, and, and a thought because I kept trying to understand why is it because I am actually really blessed to be learning in this environment. So I followed very much the common line that everyone follows and then I went to university to a highly rated UK university and then moved on to do a postgrad. So I, I sort of, for many parents, I did the, the ideal or the dream sort of trajectory. However, I've come to realise now and I think as a result of trying to understand why I was quite unhappy that I didn't have any freedom in choosing what I learnt, how I learnt and, and when and where I learnt it. Um, so for me, trying to get my head around what education might look like for my children, I've come to the conclusion that it's very much teaching children how to learn, how to choose and how to empower themselves rather than content. I'd like to help them love the learning process, whatever they might choose to do with it. But it's really impossible to really predict um, what the world would look like if all human beings were sort of raised in that way. <laughs> but I feel it's probably quite a significant improvement to how we experience the world and choose to sort of place ourselves in the world or just survive in the world at the moment. I'm pretty convinced that if you could somehow measure happiness, you would shoot up. I, I feel that from a very young child, when you're told that you can learn of any skill or concept and I'll support you, or if I can't, I'll find someone to support you. If you tell a child that they can do what they want whenever they are ready, I think just, just with those few really fundamental ideas in them growing and growing in their heart and actually receiving confirmation of those principles in their environments on a daily basis, I think that people will end up doing what they love doing. Mm. And I do believe it's possible to end up doing what you love doing. So with loads of ALCs around where these, where these principles are being supported and being taught, the children will turn into adults who actually belong to a community care about and are aware of what culture they're creating and what culture they're supporting and what, what their intention within that is, they will, have a, they will have a deep belief and experience of actually being valued and, and being a significant part of their community. And I believe they're going to really care about the environment in which they're in. I feel like that sort of classic, it's not just about surviving, it's about thriving, could really be supported as a transformational process through the, the Agile learning okay. tools and, and, and models. So I don't really believe that it was a great idea that I went to a school of 4,000 children because you get lost and if you don't fit in, it doesn't matter, you get lost. Whereas I feel like in mixed age, smaller schools where children are working together or working on their own and allowed to flow between those spaces and those processes. The human beings that are created are so much more deeply aware, caring and empowered.